So to clean my brushes, this one's really caked on. Um, I used to just start, so this is my bucket with my uh, artist grade um, paint thinner, uh, mineral, I just keep calling it paint thinner, like mineral spirits. Uh, I got a freezer bag in there just to kind of make it easier to clean up when I'm ready to change it. I used just to take this nastiness, put it in there and just keep scrubbing and scrubbing it, but that just makes your um, mineral spirits thin or whatever you're using get really nasty really quick. So I'll take a, just a paper towel. Um, what do I? Viva, sorry. Viva paper towels is what I find, or shop towels work really well. And then I just, you don't want to pull too hard. You don't want to pull your bristles out, but I get it. Clean, I get all that as much as I can off. And then I'll just kind of work it. And then I got this gutter guard in my bucket that I cut to fit, which is nice because the gutter guard comes in, I don't know, three, four foot sections. So I have probably a lifetime. I just cut, cut them to fit the bucket. And when they get way too nasty, I can toss them. I haven't had to toss one yet though. I, they usually come pretty clean when I clean them. I clean, I clean those in actual like paint thinner, thinner, let them soak um, and clean them out. That gets it pretty clean. Um, I'll show you my next phase. You'll see that it's probably not as clean as you thought. All right, so this was uh, the brush that I just cleaned. And uh, Mineral Spirits, now I'm using um, Masters, that's the lid. The Masters Brush Cleaner. I buy it in a, I got some smaller tubes. Uh, I usually buy it in a big, not tube, container. Basically all you do is I use really hot water. You know, it looks clean, you'd think it'd be clean. But as you can see, a lot of the green's coming out. Basically you're just working it in the cleaner. And then I'll start using my hands to really uh, clean it. Same thing with these brushes. I got them fairly clean, but you'll see once I start. So you can see how much paint is actually still in it. Really easy to use. Whoops. That was the, uh, you know, thought it would look clean, but it really wasn't as clean as. And I don't go overboard cleaning. I used to, I used to clean it. I used to stress over, oh, I gotta get all the paint, every little drop out of my brushes. And I think that just hurt them. Just uh, dried them out, uh, made them, I don't know how to explain it. It's like split ends, I guess. And it kind of ruined them pretty quick. I think it's just because these natural bristles, you want to keep some oils in them when they dry out. I also have this uh, painter's, they call it the painter's brush cleaner comb, whatever. And then, uh, that really helps get down into the
What you can do is you can uh, also, they say you can uh, act as a conditioner. So sometimes you can just rub it into the bristle. Smack out your excess. This one actually wasn't too bad, but your greens, if you're using greens, um, they stain a lot. They'll stain your brushes, so you got green in your brushes and it's not coming out. Your bristles are probably just stained, don't worry about it. In my hands. I like lava soap. Um, I used it for years and years like working on cars. You get your hands all greasy and nasty, but it works so good at getting oil paint off your hands. Actually, I always keep extra bars. I think I bought a two pack. But, um, yeah, it's made in the USA, heavy duty hand cleaner with moisturizers, made by WD 40. I love it. I said it's the only thing that gets the paint off. It's not the only thing that'll get the paint off, but it gets it off so quick. It doesn't dry your hands out. Got any questions? Uh, Feel free to ask.